I just want to encourage you that uh, you are immortal until your work is done. Now, why do we say that? Do you remember that uh, in Psalm 139, uh, David said about the Lord, he says, you, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before, before one of them came to be. So our days have been ordained. They've been planned by our loving Heavenly Father. Now, if, we think, if we're thinking longer term, uh, the Lord's ultimate desire for each of his children is this. Jesus prayed in Psalm, John 17, Father, I want those you've given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory. The glory you've given me before you loved me before the creation of the world. So the Lord is not wanting us to stay in on earth and on and on and on. He wants us with him. That's his desire. He wants us with him. And that day will come. But in Ephesians 10, it says, uh, sorry, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it says, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Or another translation is, For we are God's masterpiece. He's created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So God has a plan for each of our lives. Now, would the Lord take us home before we've accomplished his plans? That's a question, isn't it? Jesus told, uh, told this story about, um, or this parable. Uh, his master, really basically it means, that, or saying that the master is the one who decides when the servant's work is done. Suppose one of you has a servant plowing or looking after the sheep. Will he say to the servant when he comes home from the field, and say it's six o'clock and he's tired out from working, oh, come along now and sit down and eat. Won't he rather say, prepare my supper, get yourself ready, wait on me while I eat and drink. After that, you may eat and drink. And um, the, Lord, the Lord has a job for us to do on this earth. And he's our master. He's the one that will tell us when it's time to stop and take us to himself. Jesus speaking to Peter after the resurrection said this. He said, I tell you the truth. When you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself. You went wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you'll stretch out your hands and others will dress you and take you where you don't want to go. Jesus said this to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. Then Jesus told him, follow me. So Peter was serving the Lord during his lifetime. But God's plan for him also was that he would bring glory to God in his death. He left a legacy behind <clears> through <throat> his death. That was part of the plan, part of God's plan. And then uh, it says, Peter turned around and he saw behind them the disciple, disciple Jesus loved, the one who'd leaned over Jesus during supper and asked, Lord, who will betray you? That's John, presumably. Well, it was, yes. And Peter asked Jesus, well, what about him, Lord? Jesus replied, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what's that to you? That's for you. Follow me. You know, we're each responsible to Jesus alone to keep following. It's not for us. It's not for us to, um, to ask what God's plans are for somebody else. Our responsibility is to follow him ourselves. So we are each responsible to Jesus and only to him to keep following. So anyway, the rumors spread among the community of the believers that this disciple, that is John, that he wouldn't die. But that isn't what Jesus said. He only said, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what's that to you? 
So if the Lord wants us to remain alive, then we will come through this sickness. If he doesn't, that's his choice. That's his choice. He is the one that's in control and not us. And John actually lived to a ripe old age and he glorified God by writing three epistles and the revelation amongst so many other things that he did. John's, God's plan for John was different from what the plan was for Peter. But the Lord has his plans for each one of his children. And so Paul's summary of the situation was this. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Amen. For we live by believing and not by seeing. Yes, we're fully confident and we would rather be away from these earthly bodies for then we'll be at home with the Lord. So whether we're here in this body or away from this body, our goal is is to please him. Please him whether we're here on this, in our bodies on earth or please him whether he, if he takes us to himself. So that's be, be our desire to please the Lord all the time. So each day we should be saying, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Think of the, I'd like us to read together these words from uh, the, uh, the song, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. And when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. So let us, let's put our minds these days on the things which are unseen. Let's bring our minds to think about the souls of men, not just their bodies. Mm. Let's make those phone calls that we should. Let's make those Skype calls that we should. Let's write those emails that we should. And let's pray that God will keep, God will have mercy on many people during these days. Mm. and bring them to himself. If I could add something personally into that, really felt the Lord has been pressing me and the pressure's on me to make some videos which, are, uh, which have um, the, the title... Uh, facing death without fear and I've done number one and I just feel like the Lord is saying to me keep going with them and I feel like he's been feeding the ideas so if you like to pray with me for me and with me that the Lord will help me to ch achieve that facing death without fear for many of my age group we're not going to make it and let's ask the Lord somehow that that many uh, many of uh, the age group of most of us will uh, have a chance to turn to the Lord, will take that decision, even though late in life, before it's too late.